Hello, everybody. It's been actually not that long. It just feels like a really long time since the last time I was here, you know, vlogging. Today, I decided. So I made resolutions in January for 2022. And since today is the last day of the year, <laughs> where I'm gonna go over, cause I, I, I wrote them down. I made like a whole page, like a whole, I don't even know what it's called, collage, like an inspiration page of what I wanted my year to look like. So we're gonna go over that. We're gonna go over my New Year's resolutions list. And then I think I like to make my resolutions like not before the year has started. So I'll probably make those tomorrow. So today we are just gonna be going over which resolutions I completed. But for now, let's let's get this party started and get dressed. Um, I currently have a cold right now. So I'm gonna try out this like shower bomb that's supposed to make it like really steamy. So we're gonna try that out and I'll let you know if it works. Okay, as you can see, it's very steamy in here. Now the problem is I'm not sure if it's this steamy because I took a burning hot shower. Our heater is broken or if it's because of the little thing I used. Here's what I have to say. It did smell kind of good, but I picked it up and like held it and like, you know, and I'm wondering like if you were congested and like sick, like I am, if you could just put it in like a cup of like boiling water and just put a towel over your head. Like I feel like that would like, you know, it would feel really good. Would I buy it for myself? Probably not. Would I steal it from like my mom? Yeah. It's like worth using, but not worth buying. You know what I mean? But now we're gonna get dressed and ready. Okay, I'm all clean and ready to look at my resolutions. Here's a picture of resolutions. Here's a picture of my vision board. Let's take a look see here. So this is so weird because thinking about like what is on it, it's weird to think about like what my resolutions were, like what, when they became accomplished, all this stuff. So start at number one, it all relates to the nursing program. The Kaplan is a test that you have to take in order to get into the nursing program at my university. And you have to get a, like not a certain score, but they just take your highest score. So the average is like a 65. So I said, get at least a 70 on the Kaplan. I ended up doing very good on this. I'm not gonna toot my own horn too much, even though I just did, but I did very good. I'm not gonna say exactly what I got. So we'll do a check mark on that. Get an interview. Yes, I did do that. Cause it's like a step process. Like they check your your GPA combined with that Kaplan score. Highest score is good interview. So I got an interview and then get into the nursing program. So this is weird. So I didn't specify on this when I wanted to get in. So, I mean, of course I wanted to get in the first time I applied. So I actually didn't get in the first time I applied. So I did get an interview the first time I applied, but I said get into the nursing program, but I didn't specify which semester. I got in the second semester, yay. Get, aim for a 3.5 the spring semester. What did I get in the spring? Let's look. Okay, so I just checked and I did get like almost exactly that a little bit above, so yay. Um, Go out, work out, go for a walk at least three times a week at school. That is a tough one. Um, No, actually, the spring semester, I actually did pretty good with working out. The only thing was fall, this fall semester. I had gotten sick at the end of summer with COVID, which oaked up my lungs. So not really. So I'm gonna do like a, I'm gonna cross that off because yes, I kind of did the first. So, mm, I'm gonna do like a X, not an X. I'm gonna do like a, I don't even know what to do for that one. Cause like, yes, I did, but I also didn't check, I guess. Check mark with like an eh. I'm gonna literally just say check mark. Eh, right there. Okay. Spend more time outside. I definitely think I did that. Um, be on phone less, lower screen time. The thing is, is I'm not really sure if I did compared to last semester, but I think I definitely was, or like last year, but I think I definitely was more conscious about it. Like I was like, oh my God, like I've been on my phone for five hours. That's not okay. So I, I'm going to say yes. Read at least two books. So this, so the year before 2021, I was never really had a break from school. Like I did spring semester, summer classes, fall semester, winter classes. So I never really had a time to read because I was just constantly doing schoolwork and in my free time, I just didn't want to look at a book. But that actually really changed this year because I realized like I just got so into reading. I ended up reading seven books, 
which might not seem like a lot for those crazy readers out there, but like that's a lot for me, especially with how much schoolwork I have. And I realized like that's something that I really like to do to like in my free time, to not be on my phone, to just decompress. I got really into, which is something like I would never expect of me, but I got really into like romance books, like Colleen Hoover books. I read three of her books this year and like, I'm not usually a rom-com type of gal, like not for the juicy type, but I, the first book I read was Ugly Love and I, like I said in the past vlogs, like I just got so hooked. So like even reading something that I totally thought I wouldn't like ended up like making me read even more, which was pretty cool. So that gets two check marks. Let go a little and try new things. I'm gonna say yes. I would say yes because I've been wanting to start a vlog channel for a very long time. And this was the new thing that I decided to try and just let go of like fear of judgment. Make money this summer. I did not do that. I did not end up having time for a job as I was trying to get my CNA this summer. <laughs> Learn how to make ribs, my grandpa's ribs. I didn't do that, I never did that. Cook more homemade food, definitely because I moved into a house this semester, which forced me to only eat home cooked food. And I tried to limit my eating out to only once a week. So yeah, I, that, I did do that a lot. Give more, give self more time to relax. So because I didn't get into the nursing program the first time around, this semester I was able to kind of manipulate my schedule. And I definitely gave myself a lot of time to relax while also doing things that interest me more. Not more, but like doing things that interested me more than like prerequisites, like theater, like I don't give a shit about that, or like art. Like the, I was able to get my EMT certification, which is something medical, which is something I'm very interested in. So yes, I will say. Continue old hobbies or pick up new ones. I'm gonna say yes, because I, I picked up new ones in the sense of I'm gonna say vlogging was my hobby and reading. Two things that I really got into, which were new hobbies, so yes. Spend less money. Okay, so I'm gonna say no, only because, like I said, I moved into a house, and I feel like I spent so much money on groceries. And I, I did try to say, like, I budgeted it. Budgeted? Budget it well? Anyways, I, I'm gonna say no. Like, I'm, I'm really good when I'm at home to not spending a lot of money, but at school, like, it's tough. Especially, like, fun things cost money at the end of the day. Um, I got really into spending cash this this year because <laughs> yeah, create a morning or night routine and try to stick with it. That's iffy because I do kind of have a night routine, but I don't like, I don't really know what I meant by that actually because it's just so different because I feel like you're home, you're at school, your routine just changes when you come home and when you're at school. So I'm gonna say no only because it's kind of hard to keep a routine like that. I mean, I could have had one at school and I feel like at night, like I had a routine of like either reading a book or giving myself time like before bed to just decompress. So that's gonna get a check mark with an A. Eh. Become more flexible in all ways. So this one was because I wanted to stretch more. I didn't do that. I never stretched. Um, have a physical and mental glow up. Mentally, yes, I will say I glowed up. I think I became a lot more knowledgeable about the things that I am passionate about, which is like medical stuff. Physically, no. Physically, I was doing so good until I got super sick um, towards the end of summer. And that just totally messed up my groove, man. So I'm gonna say, a check mark. I'm gonna cross out physical. Do you like a oops? But meant until yeah. You see that? Wait, where did I do it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right there. Oops. Try a spin class. No, I didn't do that. <sighs> I'm the worst. Um, make more friends. I'll say I made more friends. Drink more water. I definitely think I did good with drinking water. Had my little hydro flask with me everywhere I go. Girl boss to the moon. Um. I will say this year, I kind of developed a God complex, like kind of a God complex in the sense that like, I just stopped giving a fuck in all ways. So I will say I did girl boss to the moon. I got into the nursing program. I became an EMT. I started reading. Readers are leaders. So I would say we did pretty good on this. Out of one, two, three, four, 22 resolutions, I completed 17. I think that's pretty good. So now let's look, look at my vision board. This is my vision board, my little collage. So the food one was because I wanted to try making new food, which I did. This, I don't know what that is. Oh my God. <gasps> so I went through a total phase where I made chai, iced chai teas with pumpkin. And that was like my fall drink. I had that every day. And I feel like this was like alluding towards that. This was totally foreshadowing that. That is crazy. See to see, I did go to the beach, I love 
love the beach. Pause for a moment. I think I did. I think not getting into the nursing program let me take a step back this semester and allowed me to take a breather. This is crazy how this whole thing kind of predicted my entire year. As much as talent counts, effort counts twice. Also goes back to the whole, I think that really threw my whole year off if I'm being honest. But it was like so many thing, good things happened from it. Get outside, I had to get outside. It's time to embrace the new you. I don't know if this is the new me, but I feel like 2022 was like a grow up. Not grow up, but like really seeing what I want to do in life. And I think I liked it a lot. This is really cool. I'm, I'm actually going to do this again because I think it's really cool how there's things that I made in January that I like, why did I put this on there? I don't know. But then I ended up making drinks that looked like that for like two months. Things that I really looked forward to and wanted during the year that didn't happen allowed me to do stuff, more stuff on here and more stuff on here, which is like crazy that that happened. So everybody, if I had a champagne class, I would imagine, imagine you have a champagne. And we're gonna say cheers to 2022. Clink, clink it, drink it, set it down. Now we can just, uh, what's the word? We can just reflect on this past year. Cheers.